Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Stock My Closet. Thanks a lot for your love and support. And please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and also click the bell icon to get the new video notification. We also have another channel named Easy Swing Tutorials where we share swing tutorials in Hindi. So check it out as well. Link is in the description box. This is the measurement I am using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. Firstly, I'll cut the back bodies. I have cut the length of 15 inch bodice length plus seam allowance. I'll leave half inch of seam allowance on the top. And from this point, I'll mark the length which is 13.5 inch. I have left around 0.75 inch of seam allowance at the bottom. Now for shoulder, take half of shoulder width. Like in my measurement, shoulder width is 13.5 inch. So half of it would be 6.75 inch. Neck width is 3 inch. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope from this point. Now for armhole take half of armhole round. In my measurement armhole round is 14 inch so half of it would be 7. I'll just extend this point. From this point mark 1.25 inch inwards and join these points too. From the top, I'll mark a point at 10.5 inch apex point and this will be the burst line. For chest, I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement, chest is 31 inch. So 31 plus 2 is 33 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.25 inch. For burst, I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, burst is 32 inch. 32 plus 3 is 35 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.75 inch. For waist, again I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, waist is 27 inch. 27 plus 3 is 30 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 7.5 inch. Join these points. I'm leaving seam allowance. Measure this line and mark the midpoint. On this line too, mark 1 inch diagonally from both points. Now I'll make the armhole curve. Back neck width is 3 inch and depth is 6 inch, adding half inch for seam allowance and I'm making round shape. So marking is complete and now I'll cut it. Now for front, again I have taken required length. I have folded the fabric in width. And from the unfold side, I will leave 1 inch as this is front open. Now I will place the back, taking edge of the line as center. And now I will cut it. For bottom, I have taken required length, which is full length minus body's length. Like in my measurement, full length is 45 inch and body's length is 13.5 inch. So 45 minus 13.5 is 31.5 inch. I have added seam allowance. And I will be taking whole width of fabric as I need to add gathers. So this is just a rectangle piece. And with this, cutting is completed. Now I'll stitch it. Firstly, I'll make the placket. I have left one inch, just trim it. We only need half inch of seam allowance. 
and I have taken two straight strips from the same fabric of around 1.5 inch in width. So I have attached the strip. Now I'll fold it like this. This will be the extended strip. Other one will overlap it. Now I'll attach the other strip. I have attached it. Now I'll turn around the whole strip like this. Fold the seam allowance and make a stitch to secure it. So placket is ready and this will be the neckline. For placket you can either stitch it by half or just leave half portion open or you can make buttonholes it's your choice. Now I'll stitch shoulder slopes. Overlock it. This is the bottom. I have notched midpoint. Now I'll make a basting stitch to add gathers. So I have made basting stitch. Now pull back thread to add gathers. You can also make two basting stitch, it will give you more prominent gathers. I'll pull the thread from one side to the center. Like this and repeat the same on the other side. So I have made gathers, now I'll attach the bodies and the bottom. Match the center and I'll start stitching from the center as well. So I have attached it. Now keep seam allowance direction upwards and make a top stitch.
Similarly, I'll attach the back bodies and the bottom. Now I'll finish the neckline and armholes using bias tape. Similarly, I'll finish the armholes. Now I'll stitch the side fitting seam on both sides. And lastly, I'll finish the bottom. So with this my kurti is completed and this is how it looks. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.